these days, throughout the Islamic world, we are seeing the steep cost of the free speech America has come to exemplify. We believe such costs must be sustained, no matter the price. In 1917, shortly after the United States entered World War I, Socialist Charles Schenck urged young Americans to resist the ongoing military draft. Assert your rights, his leaflets asserted, in suggesting the draft made virtual slaves of those who submitted. Schenck was convicted of violating the Espionage Act of 1917 and appealed to the Supreme Court. He argued that his conviction violated his First Amendment rights. In ruling against Schenck, Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes wrote, the most stringent protection of free speech would not protect a man in falsely shouting fire in a theater and causing panic. Which brings us to the ongoing events roiling the Muslim world. On September 8th, an Egyptian TV show drew the world's attention to a 15-minute film, foolish both in its conceit and its execution. The film, derisively titled Innocence of Muslims, has proven to be a lethal export, branded, regrettably, made in the USA. The convulsions from the film have left four Americans and others killed in rioting throughout the Islamic world. I found myself, from the relative safety of my home office, watching and asking, is this film the proverbial shout of fire in a crowded theater? Is this growing death toll a fair price to protect such detestable speech? The answer I now understand is a resounding yes. We must protect the First Amendment, the basis for all of our liberties, at any cost. Our American enterprise was and is typically reviled by those who would subvert freedom of expression, including present-day Iran and famously Nazi Germany. We say words don't kill. Rather, words are made the incendiaries, tossed onto the world stage by petty tyrants who would have us live in fear. Anyway, this is the view from 38th Street.